Hello kids, today we will learn about data handling. Now what is a data handling? A data handling is the process of gathering, recording and presenting information in a way that's helpful to others for instance in graphs, in pictures and charts. See the mind mapping of data handling, horizontal, bar graph, column, axis, data, pictures, tables, graphs and verticals. Data handling are two types. It is pictograph one is and another is bar graph. Data used by pictures is known as pictograph and data by bars Vertical and horizontal axis is known as bar graph. Pictograph data handling. In pictograph, we use icons, pictures, symbols, etc. Repeatedly to show the relationship between two variable qualities. Pictograph can also be referred as pictogram, pictorial chart, pictorial graph or picture graph. The quantity that each symbol or picture symbolizes is specified clearly in the representation. This helps to represent large quantities of data. Now see the pictures. This is a favorite fruits. One fruits for one word represent by the pictures. It means it is a way to represent data through the pictures. Now bar graph. Bar graph is the simplest form of representing data by displaying rectangular bars of different heights proportionally to the value they represent. Bar graph can also be referred as bar charts, column graph and column chart. Now bar graph can be plotted vertically or horizontally. Bar graph makes Comparison easier. The title of the bar graph tells what the graph is about. The bars of different heights tell the bar representation a quantity for a particular thing. See the favorite color of the children. These are a bar graph and it can be referred as a bar chart. See the example of pictograph. In this example we use the pictures to show the pictograph now see the example the below graph shows how many oranges were sold in three weeks how many oranges are sold in three weeks now answer the following question question number one how many oranges were sold during the third week here is look here carefully one orange represent is equal to 20 oranges so one picture is equal to 20 oranges 20 multiply 3 is equal to 16 oranges as each orange stands for 20 oranges in which week of the oranges sold maximum answer is see the picture carefully in picture maximum orange was sold in week 2 in which week the oranges were sold minimum see the picture again in week three third week we can see the oranges were sold minimum it means from the with the help of the picture we can identify the answers now next see the bar graph this is a bar graph have the two axis vertically axis and the horizontal axis the axis have label giving information the numbered axis often have a scale example the graph shows the different grades scored by the students of grade 4 now answer the following questions see the graph carefully how many students score grade b grade check the bar graph and look the height of the graph now its answer is 25 students in which grade was the least secured again see the graph answer is grade D how many students were secured A 
check again that is 10 correct now this is your test your knowledge solve this this is a pictures and you have to solve it this is a one is a pictograph and another one is a paragraph see it carefully and answer these questions yourself again you have to use the pictograph for upper questions and uh, question number two you have to give the answers to the bar graph see this activity this activity is represent one dias represent five dias and one candle represent three candles now which is a greater you have to mark it greater than or lesser than so you have to do it next activity how many hours do you watch tv daily you have to mention your time and solve it in a week or in a month now next one activities kids fruits favorite fruits you have to recognize it the bar graph and you have to solve it thank you i hope today you have learned a lot from these slides thank you